Good morning and welcome to Whenever You Are. I am Bandit Hayes and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite martial arts movies of all time. My favourite old school martial arts movies of all time. And by old school, I mean 70s, 80s, straight kung fu, bad lip reading, all that stuff. That's what I want to talk about. I've got six movies to talk about. But before I do that, me after let you know Wagwan. All right, so um, I know normally with these weekly vlog videos, I will normally talk about, you know, myself a little bit, talk about the channel a little bit, talk about, you know, what's going on in the community. And right now, <laughs> to be fair, there is, a, there is a few things going on in the community. And I've already talked about some of that stuff in the PewDiePie Legend of the Bro Fist gameplay video that I put up on Monday. Um, so I don't really want to rehash that too much. And then the other stuff is kind of like, you know, the YouTube uh, age gate stuff is that's a rumor. So there's not really much known about it right now. And the other stuff is just, uh, that's just a bit too negative. And, you know, I'm not afraid to get serious if I have to get serious. Um, but this stuff, um, nah. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, each to their own, each to their own. So anyway, so let's talk about some martial arts movies now. So here's the thing. Back in the day, one of my favorite things was to go to H&V. We used to have a shop called H&V. It's still around, but not quite how it used to be. Um, I used to go there and they have a martial arts section. I used to buy just cheap martial arts movies and oh, like five ninety nine, and I'd buy just stuff that just sounded cool. And I'll get some cool stuff every now and then, but mostly it was a, it was mostly it was shit, really. So some of my favorite films are from that particular buying extravaganza. Not all of them, but some of them were. So this first one one i want to talk about technically not a great film in fact it's not particularly good at all but i do want to i do want to pull it in pull it in my uh in my selection of movies today because this fellow on the front his name is huang zhengli and he is incredible he is incredible like if you ever see a film with his name on it get that film the film's not great but he is incredible and the martial arts in this movie is incredible and, and this guy his legs dude the guy can move his legs fast so yeah any movie with Huang Zhang Li in it even a terrible one like this worth getting so yeah that's one of the uh cheap movies I bought that weren't particularly good but still worth getting anyway all right then so next movie is oh by the way I should probably point out um it's not in any specific order of best to lot what best to worst or worst to best or anything like that it's just just six of my favorite movies or maybe five of my favorite movies um so yeah this one's Jackie Chan uh, young master the young master starring Jackie Chan also another fellow called Yoon Bio is in this movie not a big role but he's in this movie and um Yoon Bio Jackie Chan and also Sam Hung as well I'm going to talk about some other movies you know anytime you see those names they're 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 just they're incredible uh martial artists I mean I'm sure you all know about Jackie Chan you all know about Jackie Chan but, but um some of you some of you martial art fans will know about Yoon Bio some of you martial arts fans will know about Sam Hung I'm sure you all know about Jackie Chan but anyway it's about Jackie Chan he's trying to find his brother his brother's been like this uh uh, uh, exiled from their schools so he's trying to find him and he goes on his adventure and there's a fight scene between um jackie chan and you and bio where in a forest and you and bio kind of comes up to him he's got like this little wooden stool and he gets his little fights it's just awesome this next one i would say this is probably my favorite martial arts movie of all time warriors 2 it is incredible from i mean not so much from the story point of view the story is okay it's not terrible definitely um it's definitely better than most martial arts movies, uh, story-wise. But what I really like about it is the combination of story and the martial arts. Martial arts definitely stand out the most, though. This one is, this fellow here, his name is Casanova Wong. This guy here is Samuel Hung, if you can see him there. Samuel Hung's not in this movie a great deal. He plays one of the students. He directs this film, though. Samuel Hung's kind of a comedic uh, martial arts actor. He's a little bit funny at times. But um, Casanova Wong is incredible. I don't know how famous he is outside of the martial arts world, but definitely in name worth looking out for castle one plays a cashier and he kind of gets involved with this is is the, the owner of the bank is like this corrupt banker and he comes in one day and sees him discussing some corrupt gangster banker shit right so they're trying to you know they're trying to kill him of course any classic martial arts movie is going to involve a training scene. Casanova Wong, he has to, or Cashier Hua, his name is Cashier Hua. He has to train in martial arts, and that's where Samuel Hung comes in. He's one of the uh, students with the, uh, that's the teacher there. And then he gets a final fight scene with Casanova Wong and the banker. And the banker, like, for a whole movie, not to give away too much, had a whole movie, like he's uh, acts like this old, unassuming man. You know, he's got this uh, old man kind of thing. But right before the fight, the banker, he takes off his mask, and you realize he's a young man, and he is strong strong he is a good fighter so yeah and that fight scene like he does some mad prayer mantis incredible in 
incredible. So yeah, this is my favorite martial arts movies, uh, movie of all time. All right then, now this one, I know I said 70s and 80s. This one's actually from the 90s, it's early 90s. Um, but I do want to include it, um, kind of as a um, honorable mention, uh, so to speak. It's still kind of old school, I mean, it's 93, so it's not new, so it's still kind of old school, still kind of counts, but not, not 70s or 80s. Anyway, this movie is called The Barefoot Kid, and it's a fantastic film. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, about this, uh, mainly about this fellow. He's a young homeless guy. Uh, he's illiterate. He can't read. And he's, um, people make fun of him because he can't even write his own name, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the reason why I bought this film is because, if you can see this fella here with the little uh, moustache, his name is T. Long. And I see him in a film called A Better Tomorrow, uh, directed by John Woo, starring Chow Yun Fat. And you watch those films, and I think the first movie, he gets into a fight in the first movie, and then a second or I guess the third movie, you might see a little bit more of his fighting. But I've only seen the first one at this point, and you don't really, even though with that fight scene that he has in the first movie, you don't really get uh, an, a, an idea of, or, or of his martial arts. But So when I saw that he was in this film, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, I've seen him, in a fight scene, wasn't really like anything special, um, but it intrigued me. Like, why is T Long in a in a martial arts movie, especially playing our know, master? Let me tell you something about T Long. Dude can rock. Okay, the dude, <laughs> the dude can move. So yeah, it's a great film. Um, really cool film, and it also stars this lady down here. Um, if I can not put my finger right in her face. <laughs> <laughs> bloody camera there we go do it this way um her name's uh, maggie chung and she's a legend of um hong kong cinema um if you don't know about maggie chung get to know maggie chung uh, she's in jet lee's hero you might have heard of that or probably seen it um she's also in a film a while back back in 2000 called in the mood for love not a martial arts movie that is um but it's a pretty good movie very slow paced um well, I say pretty good. It's uh, yeah. It's not. It's not for everyone. It's 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 an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. Um, but yes, yeah, she's also in a police story as well with Jackie Chan. Um, back in uh, back in the day. So um, yeah, definitely somebody uh, worth looking out for. Maggie Chung. Next up, another Jackie Chan movie called Dragons Forever. Now this movie. Now a lot of uh, martial arts movies. You know, they try to have a story, but they mainly focus on the martial arts. And like even with Warriors Two, the story, like I say, is better than most. Um, but it mainly focuses on the martial arts. This film. As far as story and martial arts combination goes, I'd say this film absolutely nails it. And speaking of what I mentioned about Jackie Chan, Samuel Hung, and Yuan Bio, this movie has all three of them. Um, only Jackie Chan's on the front cover, and they put his name in B because, you know, he's the biggest star or whatever. But, you know, there's <laughs> all three of them. So you've got Samuel Hung there in the back holding a gun. Um, and Yuan Bai, you can't, I don't think you can see him, but there's a small picture of him there with his legs uh, open. Um, and my, my finger pointing right at his penis. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they're, they're, they're all in this movie. And they all uh, have... Well, Jackie Chan is still the main star, but they all have a pretty sizable role. They're all important characters in the film. Um, but yeah, the story, like Jackie Chan, he's a lawyer. Um, but it has like this whole thing about Jackie Chan, he's representing these people who, you know, are less, a little bit less than savory in their dealings. And he kind of realizes that. And then the people on the opposite side, he falls in love with um, the uh, the young girl there. So that has that whole sort of a dilemma thing. Um, and then he's trying to help them infiltrate. And then, of course, drugs are involved. And um, Jack, uh, Sam Hung... Um, um, he's one of Jackie Chan's friends, so he comes in to help out, and he ends up falling in love with the, uh, this young lady's uh, 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 sister, her older sister, um, and Ewan Biles, and he's kind of the crazy friend in there. Um, but there's so many cool fight scenes in there. Every single one of them has an awesome fight scene. Samuel Hung's introduction to the film, where he's got the guns, he's trying to, he's selling out these uh, 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 fake weapons, um, and people are trying to rip him off. He's like, no, nah, I'm not having it. <laughs> um, and also, got to mention Benny the Jet Urquidez. He's in this movie, and the fight scene with Je uh, Benny the Jet and Jackie, Ch uh, Jackie Chan is incredible. I mean, it's not as good as the one in Wills or Mills, but I'd say this is a better film overall. Wills or Mills fight scene with Benny the Jet and Jackie Chan, that is phenomenal. Like, if you watch that film only for that fight scene, it's totally worth it. Um, the rest of the film is... Mm. But anyway, the fight scene with Be Benny the Jet and Jackie Chan is incredible. The whole film is incredible. This is a movie... If you like stories, if you're not maybe into martial arts so much and you just want to see a good story, this is worth checking out, Dragons Forever. And the last movie I'm going to mention is... M-E-T-H-O-D, man. Um, now, I know that Method Man, the rapper, is a big fan of martial arts movies, um, especially like these sort of old school sort of martial arts movies like I'm talking about now. Uh, so when I saw this in the shop for in HMV for $5.99, <laughs> this is one of them, um, Method Man, I was like, 
hmm, I wonder if that's a film Method Man named after. And I don't know if it is. I can't say that for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But in any case, this is a great film. Um, and also it has Casanova Wong. Casanova Wong plays a, a bad guy in this film, though. He's uh, there, that guy there. And it's mainly about this young guy. His father gets killed by Casanova uh, in the beginning. Um, in fact, that's the uh, father there in the back. He gets killed in the beginning. Um, and he sends, uh, he sends his son away to uh, live with his uncle. His uncle trains him in martial arts along with uh, this lady here. It's the, not, not the best of movies, right? But um, just again if you like if you if just was just pure straightforward martial arts um not overly concerned about the story this is worth checking out and um, by the way i know i didn't mention any bruce lee movies because i figured you know it's a bit too obvious everybody talks about bruce lee right everybody knows about bruce lee i think when people do these sorts of videos bruce lee always comes up so i thought you know let me let me talk about some other stuff this time around but that being said if you don't know about bruce lee definitely check out some bruce lee movies especially big boss game of death and Fist of Fury. And those were some of my favorite martial arts movies of all time. Villagers, what do you think? Casanova Wong or Casanova Wrong? Let me know down below. And also, I might see if I could do some of these types of videos maybe every, you know, three, four, five weeks, give or take. So if you have any suggestions for, you know, top fives, top six, top tens, whatever, things like that, let me know. I'm, like, I'm not trying to turn into Watch Mojo or anything. You know, it might be fun to do videos like this once in a while. Uh, shout out to my man, Jid Lid, because he does a few of these top five videos and that serves as a little bit of an inspiration. So shout out to him. Definitely check out his channel. Does some awesome stuff over there. And if you liked this video, give it a like and share it amongst your friends if you did not like it then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies either way let me know your reasons in the comments subscribe if you have not already thank you for watching and until whenever if ever whoa i know kung fu the other kid from down the street he said to him um you're so poor i bought all your girls off you for 20 pence and then the kid from the kid from down the street was like, "But I don't have a girlfriend." <laughs> the kid from our school, he was like, "That's because I bought a off you for twenty pence." <laughs> we were just creasing so much.